Thank you for inviting me here today. My name is Christina Koziel, and I'll be partnering with Darden on all their upcoming campaigns this year. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Crackle, Crackle represents a television network and movie studio focused on creating and programming quality entertainment content that can be found on the best of class streaming service, 100% ad supported on any device or platform. Now we all know that the television landscape is changing and users are getting harder and harder to find. Crackle's here to help. We're here to help you find that hard to reach audience, that hard to reach unique audience. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about our audience, our new product redesign, which we feel is the best hybrid between television and an on-demand experience as well as the technology that will allow advertisers to measure the success of their campaigns, and my personal favorite, our original programming. I actually think that our original programming is what sets Crackle apart from any other provider. A lot of our original slate will launch this summer or this fall, but I'm also going to give you a sneak peek of what's launching in 2016. So I mentioned that Crackle represents a television network and movie studio. By being able to leverage Sony's best-in-class content, talent, and expertise, we can provide outstanding quality entertainment for our users and your advertisers. By partnering with Sony Pictures Television and Entertainment, Sony Music, utilizing Crackle Studios, and PlayStation, who, in case you hadn't heard, last fall released their first original series specifically targeted to the gaming audience, based on a graphic novel. Powers will soon come to Crackle, and you'll be able to enjoy it too if you don't have a PlayStation. But before I get too far into our original programming, let's actually take a step back and understand the television landscape and how it's been changing. For the past two years, Sony has partnered with Magden and Associates to do a new living room study. And the study found that 40% of homes use at least one subscription-based video on-demand service. And I think we in this room understand that content publishers are also moving towards that subscription-based service as well. This methodology is putting advertisers further and further away from their customers and limiting the amount of scale that we have to advertise in. The other thing the study found is that 62% of cord cutters replaced their television service with connected TV. And actually, connected TV for these cord cutters and cord nevers is the number one preferred replacement for streaming video. Obviously, it's the largest screen in the house. So you can imagine a lot of content is consumed on this big screen. And I think that's where Crackle really comes into play, helping connect you to your audience to help deliver the advertising messaging that you're looking to get across. With over 27 million unique users per month and 174 million monthly streams, Crackle has a proven track record to reach your audience. A 95% average completion rate and visitors are spending over on average 327 minutes per visit with our, our quality content and entertainment content. But don't just take my word for it. I brought a few stats with me as well. What I want to point out specifically on this slide is the 100% viewability. We were really excited to announce at the upfronts this year that with the MRC's new definition of viewability, Crackle is now 100% viewable. So who's watching Crackle? Who is our audience? And why does Darden care? We have identified this hard to reach audience as rechargers. Approximately 54% male, 74% of that audience falls between that sweet spot for Darden of 18 to 49. These folks are well-educated young, affluent, just starting their careers, building their families, building their lives. They finally have a little bit of disposable income. 
they like to be first adopters, and they like their gadgets. But when they come home, they like to relax, recharge, and be entertained. Any questions on our audience before we move on? Great. So we've talked about the changing landscape and we've talked about Crackle's audience, but we haven't talked about the content that's available within Crackle. I like to think of our offering as a hand curated TV network, similar to an FX, an Adult Swim, or an AMC. Our editors partner with companies like NBC Universal, Lionsgate, Disney, Miramax, and Columbia Pictures. When we program our, our um, when we program Crackle, we program for key audience segments. So if you think about Crackle, like a broadcast television network, comedians and cars getting coffee would be our must-see TV, and Sports Jeopardy would be our opportunity to reach males who are really looking to shame their friend with their sports knowledge. And Joe Dirt 2 goes after that hardcore millennial 18 to 34 audience, or <laughs> those of us who have a bit of nostalgia for David Spade. We feature long form premium content and our editors work really hard to make sure that we have over 1600 hours of content that changes monthly. And how do people interact with Crackle? Well, they do that through our always on platform. I was really proud of the work we've done uh, to develop a new experience to really merge linear television with the control of on demand. The always on experience provides the user a chance to lean back and recharge, to be entertained just like live television. Similar to how other retailers suggest products that you might like based on your past purchase behavior, the always on strategy is to stream live always on content based on your past viewing behavior. While allowing you the opportunity to discover and explore other content based on your preferences, as well as go really deep into the Crackle Network to find that one show you haven't seen before or a movie that all your friends are talking about. I mentioned that Crackle was 100% ad supported and available on every device and every platform. As you can see here, partnership is the name of our game. Whether you want to watch Crackle online or through your mobile or tablet device, we're available to you. Our sweet spot is really the streaming console section at the top here. You can see we have a lot of frenemies in this space, people that we may compete with in other areas of our business, but when it comes to Crackle, we're all friends. The audience on these platforms love Crackle. Quality entertainment, streaming for free. Uh, you can also see that we have strong partnerships with Apple, Roku, Google TV, and Chromecast. A lot of these partners we were first on their platforms and have a very strong partnership with. What's really important and I think that you guys will be interested in is that Connected TV has allowed Crackle to be the number one free streaming service beating out HBO, ESPN, and ABC pretty hard to do. Those are some big competitors. But what does Darden care? What's Darden really uh, interested in today? And that's advertising. And I think we have a strong story to tell on how we can complement Darden's already live TV buys. We have a new audience that they're not reaching. We have a TV-like experience and ad solutions you can't get anywhere else. One of the things that advertisers often ask me is how can we validate the audience that we're buying against? And I'm pleased to announce a partnership with Nielsen, Comscore, and Adobe, which has allowed us to become more efficient with our advertising buys. This summer, our audience management platform will launch, allowing us the opportunity to sync third-party data, match it with the Crackle audience, and provide validation and measurement when the campaigns have completed. I'm more of a visual person, so I'm going to go to the next slide, which gives you 
really the, the nuts and bolts of how the audience man management platform will work. We can offer a way to increase your reach through the audience management platform and provide audience engagement metrics through Nielsen and Comscore. By using first party data that's been anon anonymized, we can actually pool key segment audiences, layer additional layers of targeting to match, and then run the campaign. At the end of the campaign, our partnership with Nielsen and Comscore allow us to validate and measure that we've hit the audience segment that you were looking for. So whether you were looking for a fluidity buy, a campaign targeted to a specific audience segment and validated with VCE or OCR, or if you were looking to run against Crackle Originals, our new ad platform will allow you to effectively do that and be able to measure the results. We've worked a long time for this. I'm really proud of the technology. We talked a little bit about incremental reach, but I want to go a little bit deeper. If you look at the, sh the networks that are listed below, and you think about the audience of 18 to 49, you can see that Crackle does provide incremental reach. But what's really exciting is when you dig down further, Crackle can literally double your reach on 18 to 34 year old audiences against key shows like that you're already buying, like How to Get Away with Murder and The Americans. We're not saying stop buying linear television. What I'm saying is, is in partnership with your linear TV buys, we should reallocate money that is being wasted on frequency to Crackle to reach an audience that you're missing and extend the reach of, their, of Darden's campaigns. Some really exciting research here. I'd love to sit down with the research team and walk you through the Nielsen study that we did regarding incremental reach and get really into the numbers. I think you guys will be fascinated. So now my favorite part of the presentation. I think the most um, a unique and identifying way that Crackle sets themselves apart from the competition is with our original programming. All of our originals are done at the same high quality level as Sony Pictures, Sony Pictures Entertainment and Sony Pictures Television. I think what's really unique here is the level of integration, the level of integration opportunities, and the partnership that we provide to advertisers to make sure they're getting the best experience possible. I'd like to show a quick video to under, so you get an understanding of the scope and scale of this integration. You'll notice everything from post-production work that was done after filming, to reshoots, to original content, to original storylines that can be used through derivative content placed elsewhere. Let's go ahead and watch that. You can see that Crackle starts early in the process with our advertisers. And I think this is just one example where we've actually storyboarded out. It's really exciting the things that we can do. I've actually seen teams sit down with the talent around a uh, table and do cold reads to make sure that we were nailing the brand tone and messaging in order for really, really native organic integration. I have a couple shows that I want to show a few videos for, really showcase the originals. I know you've all heard about comedians and cars doing, uh, getting coffee. This is our sixth season. Jerry's coming back with a vengeance. He obviously has a lot of friends, and I think the series is going to be even better this year. I'm going to go ahead and play a quick clip. <clears throat> I already mentioned Joe Dirt, too. This is the first full-length feature, first to digital that Sony has uh, put out. And we actually think it's the first in the market. A down on his luck Joe, who we all can't help but love, who gets himself thrown back into time and has to work towards getting back to his wife and children. The original cast came back. Everybody from David Spade to Brittany Daniels to Christopher Walken and a few new guys came in, coming into the mix here. Let's show a quick clip. I found it to be really funny. I laughed out loud. After the first week of launch of Joe Dirt 2 on Crackle, we had over 3 million views and 2.7 million unique users. Huge success for us. Really excited to show it to you. The next show I want to showcase is The Art of More. It's our first one hour, 10 episode drama. 
and this is going to be a thriller. We're likening this to our house of cards. This show has everything that you can imagine in a one hour drama. Intrigue, um, it, uh, suspense, thrills, and corners that you didn't see coming. The cast is outstanding. Dennis Quaid, Kate Bosworth, Carrie Elways from The Princess Bride, and my personal favorite up and coming actor, Christian Cook, who plays an ex-soldier coming back from Iraq, and all he has are his connections in the underworld of, of um, the auction houses and antiquities market coming back. His job was to save uh, and watch over mansions and just walked anti watched antiquities walk out the back door. Anyway, Art of More is really the behind the scenes of New York's most glamorous auction houses. And our blue collar ex-soldier becomes an auction house executive and uses his contacts to become a success. Maybe. <laughs> Let's watch the clip. Super Mansion is brought to us by the same guys that make, created Robot Chicken. Seth Green and Brian Cranston lead this cast of zany characters. This is a show that I find really speaks to our millennial audience. Brian Cranston leads the superhero troupe. He's a little past his prime, and he's surrounded by idiots. They're more, they're more interested in fame and fortune than on delivering justice. He needs to find someone to take his place, and this is Super Mansion. Caveat, this is not for everyone. This is not brand safe. This is pure humor, and we love it. I know the Darden team is really familiar with Sports Jeopardy. I wanted to include this because for two reasons. One, they're changing the format next year, and it's going to be even more dramatic than it was last year. By moving to a bracketing system, having celebrity um, folks come on board, and having a champion on every season, Dan Patrick is all in to Sports Jeopardy. He is passionate about sports, passionate about Sports Jeopardy, and passionate about the fans who are interested in watching with him every week, 52 weeks. I think next year is going to be our best season yet. Let's take a little sneak peek. Chosen is coming back next year for its fourth season. Chad Michael Murray is the executive producer and stars. Season three was intense. Season four, all bets are off. I don't think I can do it justice. So I'm going to go to Ted and show you the clip. And finally, startup. This is the sneak peek that I was talking about. Pretty much all we have is this one slide. Startup follows three young entrepreneurs in Miami who are willing to go the extra mile, stop at nothing, and do everything necessary to get their startup off the ground. When I get more information, I think this is definitely an opportunity for Darden to participate in some in-show integration. There's a lot of content opportunities here, and I'm really excited about helping you guys get in on the ground floor. So I've talked about our audience, how the landscape is changing, how we can help you reach that audience, extend your linear television bias, and create organic integration into quality programming. I think there's a lot of opportunities here through Crackle, PlayStation, and PlayStation View in the future. I would love to put together a sample uh, proposal for you, make sure you walk, to walk it through with you so that we understand what our capabilities are as we enter into each RFP. I'm really excited for partnering with you all this year, and hopefully we'll have a strong relationship moving forward. Thank you.